Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video and this video is gonna be something like uh, a 24 hour readathon or something like that because I thought of reading the whole day and not using my phone much so and I thought uh, filming this would be really good so <laughs> let's get started so uh, for the past week I guess I have read almost like three books which are the short ones like 200 pages one and uh, yesterday I think uh, I started this book which is The Untouchable by Mulkraj Anand and this is also a very short one like it's 150 pages book and I don't know uh, it's taking me time but uh, since I have nothing to do today I thought I might like actually sit down and read this and I was also thinking to read Oliver Twist or Emma today since I have this time and since I have you <laughs> to be as my uh, pusher to just read and not uh, watch something in my phone. So I'm just thinking of completing this and Emma today and we'll see where this goes. As I said, I started this already the other day and I'm already into 60 pages of this book. This is specially uh, set up in the pre-independence era and this is about a day in the life of an untouchable especially untouchable in the sense of a sweeper who cleans all the sanitary stuff who cleans the roads who cleans the uh, bathrooms and all in the pre-independence era and how they are treated and what goes through the life in a day of such untouchable and uh, uh, this is pretty insightful actually uh, because we usually talk about uh, when we think about the pre-independence era we usually talk about the great leaders and the great uh, uh, things which have been done and we also talk about uh, uh, the achievements and the struggles of the leaders uh, for the independence against the British but it's really uh, less talking about the caste system which have been prevailed in that time and how the less known people like uh, the, the the Muslims and the sweepers or the washerwomen or the washerman community or uh, anyone other than the upper class like the Kshatriyas or the Brahmins were treated in that time. So this book is mainly focusing on that and I this uh, it started early in the morning in the life of Bakka and uh, I'm almost into the afternoon where he is actually now trying to go and find some food and and, and what's surprising is that the these people are not allowed to get into the temples because they were uh, they were thought to be polluting the place and they actually don't know anything about gods like like this is something like the the, the thought of god the the, uh, the concept of god is only privileged <laughs> to the upper caste people there especially to the brahmins and uh, even if they were found like like there's a sentence here which says um let me just tell you well, uh, so the sentence says that uh, a temple can be polluted according to the holy books by a low caste man coming within 69 yards of it and here he was actually on the steps at the door. We are ruined. We will need to have a sacrificial fire in order to purify ourselves and our shrine. Like, like seriously, he is a man. He is a person. He is a human being like you. And you are treating him like something of a... Uh, uh, like 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 his thing and he's not allowed to go there and the irony is that these people are uh uh what do we say uh they are like seen so looked down apart up upon that uh even the cows are more uh superior than them that uh, people actually respect cows in our country that we all know because they are the holy mothers and 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 the irony is that people respect cows more than these people like we humans, we look down upon the other humans, but respect the animal. Like, I'm not saying that you have to, uh, like, differentiate uh, animals and you shouldn't uh, respect them. But, but in the sense, in the, in the sense of comparing between two human beings, one being should help other, right? So, this is, like pretty devastating, actually, uh, to find out what was happening at that part of time. 
I'm really glad that that isn't happening now. It's 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 a lot of we actually respect the the, the community workers, the sweepers here, and 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 everyone because because without them we'll be like <laughs> totally. Uh, we couldn't even just go out because if if the roads aren't clean, we cannot like even go out. So I just really respect them, and we'll see how this ends. Also, uh, it's been raining since yesterday. Uh, thanks to the gulab cyclone which was here and we didn't have a power at all the last night the power is back now but you can actually listen to all the totes outside the sounds and all <laughs> i mean they are so big i have found one in my backyard and it's so big like like seriously so big oh my god anyway let's complete this and we'll see where we go after it's two it's actually close to three and i just completed this book this is as i said a day in his life starting from waking up early to uh cleaning for cleaning all those uh bathrooms and uh, uh mud houses out in his place to the end of the evening where he actually gets to meet uh go to a meeting presided by mahatma and uh, comes back home with a uh, thought that actually he could be liberated from his work and he can actually do something else and not just be an untouchable mm -hmm. and to be honest uh like writing a 150 page about a single day of a person is like i think it's so awesome like every single line in this book is so very intricately described and uh, especially the surroundings where he goes to and the places the people and what he goes through every single time uh, from the morning to evening and how uh, describing different sets of people in and around him some bad some good some completely orthodox some uh, being open and actually trying to get a change and some being really good and some being um, the 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 bad part of the community it's just so re so very good and i think this is the first uh, book i guess where i'm i have been like um, exposed to the actual preachings of mahatma honestly i never read anything <laughs> closely related to it and this was one where uh, the last few parts is where uh, he presides over a meeting talking about uh, the eradication of untouchability and uh, making people understand that it's it's because we made it and it's nothing you have to be shamed of or it's nothing you have to treat them in that way an insightful one maybe i might like get back to it i actually page note everything which i like and there are a lot of instances which where the author's description is so very good he actually uh, compares the surroundings of bakha with the situations he is going through or with the situations the people the sweeper community is going through at that part of time it's it's very a uh, different kind of explanation actually so we're going to end this uh, uh for the next uh, some time i'm going to like write down all my thoughts on a page on a paper in my journal <laughs>
so here we are uh, i just jotted down whatever i thought about it and you can actually see here i just used a rough paper <laughs> some color paper to give it some look and yeah 